The Mornington Peninsula is a peninsula located southeast of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. It is surrounded by Port Phillip to the west, Western Port to the east and Base Strait to the south, and is connected to the mainland in the north. Geographically, the peninsula begins its protrusion from the mainland in the area between Pearsdale and an area south of Frankston. The area was originally home to the Mayone Bullock and Boonwaring Balak clans and formed part of the Boonwaring Nation's territory prior to European settlement. Much of the peninsula has been cleared for agriculture and settlements. However, small areas of the native ecology remain in the peninsula's south and west, some of which is protected by the Mornington Peninsula National Park. In 2002, around 180,000 people lived on the peninsula and in nearby areas, most in the small towns on its western shorelines, which are sometimes regarded as outlying suburbs of Greater Melbourne. There is a seasonal population of around 270,000. The peninsula is primarily a local tourist region, with popular natural attractions such as the variety of beaches, both sheltered and open sea, and many scenic sights and views. Other popular attractions include the various wineries, mazes and the diverse array of water sports made available by the diversity of beaches and calm waters of Port Phillip and Western Port. Most visitors to the peninsula are residents of Melbourne who camp, rent villas and share houses or stay in private beach houses. History The peninsula was formed by the flooding of Port Phillip Bay after the end of the Ice Age about 10,000 BC. It may have extended into Port Phillip at various times, most recently between 800 BC and 1000 AD when Port Phillip Bay may have dried out. Indigenous Australians of the Mayone Bullock and Boonwaring Balak clans lived on the peninsula as part of the Boonwaring People's Territory prior to European settlement. The territory hosted six clans who lived along the Victorian coast from the Werribee River across to western Port Bay and Wilson's Promontory. The peninsula may have been home to between 100 to 500 people prior to European settlement. The first European settlement on the Mornington Peninsula was also the first settlement in Victoria, situated in what is now Sorrento. The Sullivan's Bay Settlement was a short-lived penal colony established in 1803, 30 years before the establishment of Melbourne, by Lieutenant Colonel David Collins (1753–1810). At the time of European settlement in 1803, much of the Mornington Peninsula was covered with she oak forests. These were quickly cleared to provide firewood for the growing city of Melbourne, and much of the peninsula was then covered with fruit orchards. Nevertheless, much natural vegetation still exists, especially in an area of bushland in the south known as Greens Bush, and the coastal fringe bordering Bass Strait and western Port Bay. Most large areas of bushland are now included within the Mornington Peninsula National Park. As serious farming has declined, hobby farmers with an interest in the aesthetic and the natural environment have taken over much of the peninsula. This has led to an expansion of natural bushland on private property, and many native species, such as koalas, are becoming increasingly common. The local council also has a slight lean towards sustainable practices. Harold <laughs> Holt disappearance On 17 December 1967, Prime Minister Harold Holt went swimming at Cheviot Beach on what is now Point Nepean National Park. At the time, however, it was still a restricted area. Holt, who was 59 and had had a recent shoulder injury, plunged readily into the surf. He disappeared from view and was never seen again. Despite an extensive search his body was never found. He was officially presumed dead on 19 December 1967. Geography <inaudible> 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 The peninsula extends from the mainland between Pearsdale and Frankston in a southwesterly direction for about 40 kilometers, 25 miles, at a width of about 15 to 20 kilometers, 9.3 to 12.4 miles. It then begins to extend roughly 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles in a west, northwesterly direction and tapers down to a width of about 2 to 3 kilometers, 1.2 to 1.9 miles before terminating at Point Nepean. Much of the topography is flat in the north where it connects to the mainland, however moving southwest, it soon becomes hilly, culminating in the central hilly landscapes of Banio, Main Ridge, Red Hill, Tuarong and Morujik. The highest point, Arthur's Seat, located unusually close to the shoreline, stands at 305 metres above sea level. 
The peninsula hosts around 190 kilometers, 120 miles of coastline. Its eastern shorelines meet many mangroves and mudflats in the waters of Western Port before it tapers down to form Crib Point, Stony Point and Sandy Point at the peninsula's most southeasterly point. In the southeast between Sandy Point and West Head, the mudflats give way to sandy beaches which in turn become more and more rocky further south. In the south the peninsula meets Bass Strait and the coastline becomes very rocky between West Head and Cape Shank. The coast between Cape Shank and Point Nepian consists of a long slow curvature of open sea surf beaches, many too dangerous to swim in. Its western shorelines form various headlands and bays in the sheltered waters of Port Phillip, hosting many shallow safe beaches. The western coastline facing Port Phillip starts at the narrow bay entrance, the heads are the rip, and proceeds as a series of gently curved bays defined by small rocky outcrops. From an oceanic perspective, the Mornington Peninsula, together with the Bellarine Peninsula, separate the waters of Port Phillip from Bass Strait, except for a small gap known as the Rip, which also separates both peninsulas. The peninsula also separates the waters of Port Phillip and Western Port. The Mornington Peninsula is crossed by many seismically active fault lines, monoclines, synclines and anticlines, the largest of which is the 100 km long Selwyn Fault which is capable of producing earthquakes of around 7.5 magnitude. The peninsula experiences many minor earthquakes every year, but most are too small to be felt. The last strong earthquake to rock the peninsula had a magnitude of 5.0 and occurred on 7 July 1971 at 7.55 am Australian Eastern Standard Time with its epicentre off Flinders, along the southern end of the Tyab Fault. <laughs> Political geography The Mornington Peninsula is located over 40 kilometres southeast of Melbourne. As of 2016 it has a population of 154,999 which can swell up to 250,000 during the summer months. The governing body, the Shire of Mornington Peninsula occupies the entire peninsula and is generally considered to be a good approximation of where the peninsula joins the mainland. <laughs> Mountains and hills Arthur's Seat 305 meters, 1001 feet. Chapman's Point 274 meters, 899 feet. Franklin Point 195 meters, 640 feet. Bowen's Point 145 meters, 476 feet. Anthony's Nose 40 meters, 130 feet tapers into Port Phillip. McClear's Hill Northeast End. Mount Martha 160 meters, 520 feet. Jackson's Hill Mount Eliza Red Hill Cheviot Hill, near Cheviot Beach Mount Street. Pauls, near Sorrento Ocean Beach Shipwrecks SS Cheviot, wrecked in the rocks of Cheviot Beach 1887. Washope, sunk off the coast of Sorrento 1918. Topic. Point Nepian military installations Topic. Environment Topic. Parklands The peninsula is one of four biosphere reserves in Victoria, the other three being national parks, and the only one with a resident population that reaches some 250,000 people during the peak tourist season. Some of the major parklands on the peninsula include Land Mornington Peninsula National Park Point Nepian National Park Arthur's Seat State Park Moonlit Sanctuary Wildlife Conservation Park Quail Island Nature Conservation Reserve Mount Martha Park Main Ridge Flora Reserve Coolert Wetlands and Homestead Reserve Baxter Park Marine Port Phillip Heads Marine National Park Uringa Marine National Park Topic. Environmental issues Gunamata Sewage Outlet 
A sewerage outlet near Boag Rock, a couple of kilometers up the coast from Gunamata Surf Beach, pumps treated sewerage into the ocean which finds its way to swimmers and surfers at Gunamata during particular tidal conditions. Agriculture The Mornington Peninsula is a notable wine region, producing small quantities of high-quality wine from around 60 wineries. While most varieties are grown, the cool, maritime climate of the peninsula is particularly noted for Pinot Noir. Many wineries are open for public tastings and several have quality restaurants. Apples were the staple product of the peninsula for several generations, with whole trainloads being dispatched to the city and ports. The number of orchards has been dramatically reduced, however there are many other producers on the peninsula, specializing in berries, cherries, and other fruits, as well as market gardens. There is increased interest in organic production, and there are even organic beef producers. The peninsula not only produces fresh products, with small-scale manufacturers of niche products as diverse as cheese, chocolate, chutney, jam, and olive oil. Local produce is also to be found at markets held around the peninsula, such as the monthly market at Red Hill. A local organization, Mornington Peninsula Gourmet, has been set up to support the many small producers on the peninsula. Transport The peninsula is serviced predominantly by a network of roads. Public transport is limited to a bus service which services urban areas on the western shorelines and a train service for the eastern areas of the peninsula. The following methods of transport are available to access various regions of the peninsula. Road. The peninsula is easily reached via the peninsula link that joins Eastlink at Karam Downs, as well as from Melbourne by car via the Nepian Highway. Another route is via the Frankston Freeway to Frankston, and then via the Morujik Highway. Another option is via the Monash Freeway M1 and the Western Port Highway to the eastern side of the peninsula. An alternative route from the Monash Freeway is via Eastlink to the Frankston Freeway. Bus. A bus service runs along the entire length of the peninsula to Portsea, departing from Frankston Railway Station in Metropolitan Melbourne. A number of bus services run partway down the peninsula from Frankston Railway Station along the Nepian Highway. These run to various destinations such as Mount Martha and Mornington, via Mount Eliza. Train, Metro Trains Melbourne run a diesel rail service from Frankston to Hastings and Stony Point, from where a ferry can be taken to French and Phillip Islands. A bus service also runs to Flinders on the south coast. Rail lines at one time also extended to Mornington and to Red Hill but these have now been closed. Ferry, the Seerode Ferry Service operates two vehicle and passenger ferries on an hourly service between the Mornington and Bellarine Peninsulas, departing from Queenscliff on the Bellarine and arriving at Sorrento on the Mornington. Topic tourism The Mornington Peninsula has a long history of being a favorite holiday destination for residents of Melbourne. Popular tourism times are, long weekends such as Cup Weekend and Queen's Birthday, the week involving Christmas, Boxing Day and New Year's, with the months of December and January being the peak tourist period. Most visitors to the peninsula are local to central Victoria. Topic accommodation Wealthier visitors to the peninsula usually own beach houses on large properties or with extensive views or beach access and as a result, there are very few established commercial hotels. There are however, many smaller motels priced to suit families and middle-income earners. Large shared beach houses are also popular, although perhaps the most popular form of accommodation lie in the many caravan parks and camping grounds where many visitors own or rent on-site caravans and annexes or camp in tents. Camping is particularly popular on foreshore reserves where camping is permitted. Some visitors continuously book particular sites and many camping grounds have been camped on by the same family for two or three generations. For the unestablished tourist, these camping grounds must be booked anywhere from one to five years in advance for foreshore sites, while further inland sites are more easily available with at most a three to six month wait. It is estimated that around 30 to 40 percent of the houses on the peninsula are not owned by permanent residents reflecting the popularity of owned beach houses. Most of these beach houses are owned by residents of Melbourne. 
Topic golf courses Portsy Golf Club 18, Sorrento Golf Club 18, The Dunes Golf Links 9 and 18, Muna Links Golf Course 2 by 18, Eagle Ridge Golf Course 18, The Golf Club St Andrews Beach 18, National Golf Club 3 by 18, Cape Shank Resort and Golf Club 18, Flinders Golf Course 18, Rosebud Country Club 36, Rosebud Park Public Golf Course 18, Mount Martha Public Golf Course 18, Mornington Golf Club 18, Devil Bend Golf Club Club 18. Topic other notable attractions In addition to the national parks and golf courses, other notable tourist attractions include, HMAS Cerberus, military base, historical buildings, museum and decommissioned Oberon-class submarine. Moonlit Sanctuary Wildlife Conservation Park, native nocturnal animal walks held nightly. Red Hill Market McRae Homestead, National Trust of Australia Mornington Peninsula Regional Gallery Eagle Skylift Arthur's Seat, access to the summit of Arthur's Seat via gondola-style chairlift. Peninsula Hot Springs, thermal hot spring pools and spa treatments. Enchanted Maze and Tree Surfing Maze and Tree Surfing Adventure. Topic recreation Some popular activities on the peninsula include, hang gliding, on the steep cliffs of the southwest coastlines particularly near Portsy, Rye and Sorrento. Hang gliding is restricted around Point Nepian. Skiffleboarding, particularly on the flat beaches near Rosebud, Rye, Summers and Balnearing Beach. Surfing, on the southwest coastline on Bay Strait. Particularly at Gunnamatta, Sorrento, Portsy and First Reef at Point Leo surf beaches. Fishing, mostly hobby fishing off piers and in beaches on Port Phillip. Sailing, various locations on the shores of Port Phillip and Western Port including Summers, Balnearing Beach, Safety Beach and many others. Scuba diving, particularly at Mornington Pier, Rye Pier, Blairgory Pier, Portsea Pier and Portsea Hole and Flinders Pier. Diving tours for Port Phillip and Bay Strait depart from Portsea. A remarkable variety of diving environments including wrecks, reefs, drift dives, scallop dives, seal dives and wall dives. Running and cycling, popular along the Nepian Highway as it follows the coastline on Port Phillip. Equestrian, popular throughout the rural areas. Topic annual events Rosebud Kite Fest, held annually in March on the shores of Port Phillip Bay, the Kite Fest draws thousands of visitors and is one of Rosebud's premier events. Hundreds of colorful kites fly up to 100 meters in the air, along an area of foreshore between Jetty Road and Rosebud Parade. The Kite Festival also showcases community groups, schools and emergency services. The festival also features roving and stage-based entertainment. Rosebud Radio Fest, traditionally staged on or about the last weekend in November, Radio Fest celebrates the ever-evolving international hobby of amateur radio, highlighting its enormous impact on technological developments in the field of telecommunications. Southern Peninsula Amateur Radio Club Spark hosts Radio Fest in the large auditorium and grounds of Eastbourne Primary School. Summer tourist pilgrimage Rosebud is the seaside camper's destination of choice for Christmas away from home. Usually in the last week before Christmas, thousands of visitors pour into Rosebud, where they establish elaborate campsites on foreshore reserves between Anthony's Nose in the east down to Truman's Road in the west. Topic See also Mornington Peninsula Wine Mornington Peninsula and Western Port Biosphere Reserve Topic References Topic External Links Statistical Info on the Mornington Peninsula's Population Mornington Peninsula Shire website Discover Mornington Peninsula Mornington Peninsula – Tourism Victoria – Government Tourism Site McRae Homestead and Burrell Galleries – National Trust of Australia